What's good guys, I'm John the Chief, and for today's video it's going to be a tutorial on how to use all your weapons and items in Bozak Horde for all consoles. This glitch was originally found by Nayraj on PS4, but his version was only workable on PS4, and it was shared to me through Hayabusa's YouTube channel. Now this one will work on Xbox One, and it should work also on PC. It has the same basic concept, but you have to do something different in order to activate it. And as you can clearly see, it allows you to use any weapon you clearly want in the Bozak Horde. You can bring your grappling hook in there and any gold tier weapon that you want to use in order to instant kill all the zombies. So, first things first, what you want to do is you want to press play campaign. You're going to press X or advanced and restart from the quest museum. When you're in the quest, the museum, what you're going to have to do is get to the point where you're at the very end and you're in this area, you have to open up this door. Once you do that, you're going to quit. All you have to do is switch the game to hard mode. You're not going to restart from any more quests. You're going to be have to be at that specific door on hard mode. If you're on normal mode, this will not work. You're abusing the fact that the select screen can still be there and things can be going on in the game. Select is not pause, and that's what you need, and that's only viable in hard mode. When you go to this door, you're going to press the button to open up the door and the select button to open up your inventory at the same time. When that happens, you'll see that your inventory is clearly accessible while the cutscene's going on. While the cutscene's going on, while she is going kicking all the Rise's men's asses, you're going to drop all the items that you want to bring into Bozak Horde. If you do not drop it by the time the cutscene's over, you will not be able to use it in Bozak Horde. You have to drop all of them during the cutscene, and that's why you need the select screen open during the cutscene. This will not work after because they take away all your items during the fight with Tahir. And then after the cutscene's over, Tahir is going to attack you, and that is when you have to pick up all the weapons. Try to pick up all the weapons while Tahir is alive, and try not to die while I haven't tried picking up the weapons after you kill Tahir, and I haven't tried doing it after I died. I haven't died doing this, but it, I have been close before, and try not to die, because I think that might screw it over. Now, it can be kind of difficult, especially if you're on solo, so you might want to bring a buddy to do this with also. There are a lot of items, and sometimes it does glitch into Jade, and one or two of them might not be obtainable. So bring duplicates of stuff just in case, like, if you really want a grappling hook to bring in, bring in, like, multiple grappling hooks and only actually use one. And that is the tutorial for how to bring all the weapons in the Bozak Horde. Once you're done with this, you're just gonna go in the Bozak Horde, and all the items will be. Note, if you do throw them or gain any more such as you pick up another medkit or pick up another metal part or you throw your weapon those weapons will not be allowed to be brought into Bozak Horde so while you're there don't pick up any medkits and don't turn any weapons into metal parts there otherwise you're gonna lose them and do not throw your weapons no matter what anyways that's it for the video guys hope all of you guys enjoyed the video and have a great day guys